financial accounting. We're talking about financial performance and in particular how well is the company doing in the stock market. So let's look at the market strength ratios. There's two of them that we'll be computing. The first one is called the price earnings ratio or PE ratio for short. It's the market price of the stack on the last day of the year, on the close, divided by the earnings per share on the stack. So in X7 in short exercise 10, it tells me that the market price on the last day of the year is $40 and that the earnings per share on the income statement is $2.80. So if I find the PE, it's 14.3. Is that good or bad? What's the answer? It depends. Well, let's compare it with what it was in the previous year. If I was to do the P.E. ratio in the previous year, it was 21.4. So, looking at this, you can see that it, what? Decreased. Usually, the rule of thumb is, is the higher the P.E., the riskier or the more um, glamorous or emotional the stock. In other words, the market price um, linkage to what the earnings potential are of the company uh, become out of, out of whack. So higher the P-E ratio, generally the riskier or the more glamorous or the more uh, I'm going to buy this stock because it's emotionally something I want to do versus what the underlying financials are telling you is what's going on. So here it's becoming less emotional, isn't it? The second one you want to look at is the, um, in order to do the second one, the dividend yield, you have to know what the dividends are per share. And how you compute dividends per share is you take the total amount that the company paid out in dividends, in this case $12,000 for the year, and that was true for both years, and you divide it by the number of shares outstanding, outstanding, remember that. So as far as this company is concerned, in short exercise 10, they paid a $1.20 dividend per share outstanding. Thus, when I do the dividend yield ratio, which says what is your dividend per share divided by the market price, I'll get some sort of percentage. So for X7, dividend is $1.20, market price was $40. So what kind of return is that dividend yielding for one share of stock owned? It's giving you about a 3% return as far as the dividends are concerned. Compare that with the previous year, the dividend was 2%, dividend yield was 2% return. So is the return gaining as far as the investors are concerned on a per share basis. Yeah, they're making about three cents per dollar instead of just two cents per dollar. Is that good or bad? It depends. Let's do more ratios.